Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I want to show you guys the new photo app in OS 10.10.3 Beta 1. So, um, I promised it in the previous video that I would do the uh, full-blown uh, photo app, and so here it is. Uh, there's quite a bit to it, um, from basic photo editing to creating albums, cards, uh, books, and collages, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, importing all of your pictures previously and uh, it's uh, it's a really awesome app but uh, there's quite a bit to it so the tutorial will probably be a little longer than um, some of my videos where I like to keep things uh, a little quicker so uh, here we are in 10.10.3 on photos 1.0 um, so the build number so far is uh, 203.38.0 um, here you can see we have a library location so if you're want to change your uh, location you can change it. Photo summary so you can choose a compact view uh, which summarizes your collections and years. Uh, it's just kind of same sort of collaborated uh, view it gives you on the iPhone. You can copy the importing so it'll actually like bring the pictures over you can delete the originals because you know that uh, Photos has a copy of it. You can include the metadata from uh, cameras, location, G or GPS location, which camera took it, and stuff like that as well as enabling iCloud which I'm not going to do in this video because I actually use my iCloud and it would just be a bunch of pictures of like personal pictures and stuff so we're not going to use it so you guys are just going to have to miss out on these features for now uh, and play with it yourself when you get it going for obvious reasons um, but I just want to say I have enabled it and so basically um, the photo stream is the same kind of photo stream that you would get on the um, iPhone uh, photo sharing so if like you subscribe to an album and stuff like that it lets you know on the computer it's really like a really optimized for the Mac and I like it uh, you can also have the iCloud storage like so basically it or takes over the Dropbox and imports all your pictures from your iPhone as you take it you can choose to have them store the originals on the computer or to keep them in the cloud too which is really nice so that iCloud library doesn't get like massive and massive on your um, MacBook say if you have a smaller SSD or MacBook, or MacBook Air uh, anyways that's enough of the actual technicals of it let's get into the application itself so using the pinch um, gestures on the Mac here I'm just gonna kinda browse through and scroll up and down so you can see uh, it kinda breaks all your images down now if I had some uh, pictures of me and you know the, the things that would actually sort them in categories throughout the year and um, under your shared would be where the iCloud uh, is going to come up with all the pictures from your iPhones, comments, and everything else that uh, are in the photo streams. Now, albums is pretty cool. Um, albums is, I'm just on the back here. You can see now, just to point out, this will adjust in each view as well. It's different. Um, it'll adjust the view of um, how big or small the thumbnails are as well as giving you a back button say so if you go into an album that's how you kind of return uh... this button here is the uh... playlist theme so you can see uh... you can choose like a slideshow and uh... start the slideshow maybe with all the I thought it would do it there sorry <laughs> now it is a little glitchy so here we go so this is all my photos and it's going to start the slideshow so, um, you know, you can kind of have really cool ways to show off your albums, especially if you've gone on a trip or something like that. And it's all built into iOS, so then you can put it using an Apple TV onto a screen, which would be really cool too. You can also favorite, so you can make a mess of your organization by just favoriting random things from random albums and have this favorites folder, which is kind of nice too, because then you can have like a random mixture of things. Now, projects is something that Apple is offering as a paid service, so if you want to make a book or a calendar now let's just see what a book is so they're gonna allow you to purchase books um, you create them on your MacBook and then you can order the prints and now you can see here how much it's costing uh, we're just going to build this just as an example I'm not ordering one uh, right now I mean but so here you're gonna wanna grab some pictures um, this is the bottom bar here to add where you're gonna start so you can go add photos 
Um, you can choose to add, so far I've been able to choose like this, but I haven't been able to figure out how to select an album. Oh, there we go. So, there, I'm just learning. So, like, let's say I'd like to pick up, you know, let's pick up a bunch of them and see if we can make it big. And we would just click the Add button at the top here. Now, allow it to run and generate all of these. Um, and then it's going to go Placed Photos, I believe. Well, no, so it's the unused photos. So you can autofill, which is cool. It's going to place everything everywhere, and then you can kind of move it around from there. Or you can clear all that, which is something that most users are probably going to want to do. And you're going to want to be able to build it yourself. So it's as simple as when your computer's not being slow and weird. Why? So here's a bug. It won't actually let me unselect all of them. Maybe if I get one over here. Here we go. So now you can grab and place as long as they're not half selected in a broken weird way and choose. So now if you were building a library, obviously I'm just selecting some random non-appropriate pictures here. But um, anyway, so you could build this book and then purchase it and have it sent right to your house. So Or Christmas gifts, birthday, Valentine's Day, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of a great way to share um, your pictures and you can do it right on the Mac now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, now there's calendars and everything else like I said, but I don't want to get too much more in depth with it, let's see, maybe, uh, with a card. So this would be something that a lot of people I'm sure are really going to, uh, want. So maybe I wanted to build an anniversary card and I'm going to celebrate with some nice trees and the guy holding a gun. <laughs> and so I'm going to continue and add these images these images. This is going to be the best anniversary ever, FYI. Um, and so then I can place them in here. I can also change. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of issue, like a, a little bit of bug, and then I can put Happy Me Day. I don't know. So you can also choose the, um, the text. So there's quite a bit to this application where it looks like it's um, just kind of a basic photos app. It really takes iPhoto kind of a step up. Uh, so I can choose the different fonts. I can select the text size, the placement. You can get pretty in depth with this and uh, I think it's a, a welcomed feature definitely for the Mac. Uh, so we're going to head back out of here and we're going to get into photo editing on this thing. So let's go find something that would be fun to play with. Uh, we'll go into my all imported here and we'll find something that's maybe really colorful and somewhat appropriate. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So let's open this up now. Let's say I wanted to. Now first you can kind of play on the bar side here which is cool but you can also make it go away by doing this. So this little option here if you're kind of in the full mode. I also noticed that you can actually flip through. So that's kind of cool too. So if you're using the gestures, kind of create your own slideshow. Now let's say we wanted to change this picture up a bit. They offer the basic editing features just by going in here, which is really cool that the application goes in kind of dark mode. Now this is it in its full open enhanced mode. I kind of like the feel of it more on my desktop. I don't know, maybe that's just me being an old PC kind of style user. I like the feel of it like that. Anyways, uh, so they offer the basic features as an auto enhance, which actually did a pretty good job uh, just kind of bringing out the uh, the kind of colors and everything in the image. Now, bear with me, it can be a little... There we go. So you actually have to revert the changes back. So I had it working where you could click it on and off. Anyways, um, you can do the basic things that the, um, the iPhone app adjusts offers, but I noticed that this is a little more in depth. So there's um, your filters. Um, they only have offer the, the same kind of filters that you would get on the iPhone, but they seem to be just I don't know, I just seem like the quality of it just seems to be a little higher. Um, the adjustments too, you can get into quite a bit more detail with, um, like let's say I wanted to change some highlights. So in here I can go in and I can add some levels. Um, I can choose my details. My definition is actually what I was looking for. And so I want to increase the definition. Like So you can actually really do some some beautiful kind of 
um, upgrades very easily. I want the temperature tint, and we'll set it to auto. So just right there, I was able to create this. I'm not really too sure. I believe this is a bandage uh, to fix blemishes and stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to have to get a little more in depth in that feature because I haven't really played too much with it. And then an auto correct or the auto eye or auto red eye which she has green eyes so it wouldn't really show you guys anything there so that's just in the basics oh, I should have kept it that actually looked kinda cool um, and of the editing of how far you could actually go uh, into it so uh, with the cropping I didn't really show this see I could have really played with it nice if I hadn't reset it and then it fades out the background um, you can also set your aspect ratio, so say you wanted just the 16 by 9, which I like that. And I can kind of pull it up a little bit more. And you can just hit enter to save your, um, save your uh, changes. I'm actually going to go and make a full on image with this. So let's go back in, because I was playing with it too much. I want to clean up her hair. Kind of... Ooh. Yeah, that's sweet too. So, you know, fun to play with. I mean, really fun to play with. This it has a lot of extra features. Um, holograph. Or hologram. I'm not really too sure how to play with that. Uh, <laughs> so maybe if you guys, um, you know, have a little more... Uh, knowledge with this than me. We will all have to play with it and learn a little more. I guess that's what uh, the development stage is for. So, um, just and soften up those edges. So, what do you guys think? I mean, there. I I actually really like. I think that that image turned out pretty great from the original. So, that's the basics of the photos app it'll be available once apple releases 10.10.3 to the public this is a beta version so just let me state uh off the bat like it's a this is still in beta quite a bit to go you guys see me struggle some portions of the way through you guys also seen that i'm also not 100 percent knowledgeable of it as it's pretty in depth um considering uh, it's just a basic, you know, integrated app. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually really impressed with it, Apple. Thank you for um, including it in the latest Yosemite builds. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to the channel. It's what keeps my channel going. And thank you for watching. Um, dog, stop it. <laughs> Have a good one.